Hey, hey, what's good, everybody? It's me here, your boy, Zach. Back with another, uh, another episode of Trek 2, Yomi. Before we go ahead and start this adventure, which is the latter half of our adventure, hit us up, check us out. The Night Shift Bandits on all social media and podcasts and platforms. Hit up Perspectives Discussions, where we talk love, life, and relationships. All links in the, the description below. Definitely donate to us. And hit us up, check us out. But for right now, I, Professor Zach, am... My homie here. We're gonna go ahead and continue our track. Do we own me? I definitely feel like I took to pay more attention to what the enemies are doing. Oh, wait, where am I? Yeah. Okay. Oh, sure, I think. Okay. But yeah, I definitely feel like the game's getting a lot darker. Like, just by looking at the area here, we're definitely going to the deepest depths of Yoni. Looks very fast. Humongous portal. Jesus Christ. Whoa. Oh. Matashtemo Mabayoi Maboroshi. Azame Kare was Semizo. Yumi. Oh, 
に進むことができようぞ But I mean, like, I can rely on my sword. No worries about that. Outraged that her husband had been broken his word has broken his word and run from her, Izanami summoned Yomotsu Shikome Shikomi, a frightful hag of Yomi, to prevent Izanagi's escape. Izanagi threw down his headdress, whereupon it was transformed into a glistening grapes. Through the Shikomi paused to, to devour them. This did not slow the hag's murderous passage. The Bikazura grapes. Yeah. Oh yeah, do I? No, 
I don't have to do F off, off nothing right there. So, alright. Just it's a combination of that angle, and I think that uh, that uh, the other guy is doing a move I haven't seen before. Cause I noticed like he'll do a, do a couple of slashes and then he'll let out his uh, shadow clone, which slows him down. So we're definitely fighting the men we have killed in our lifetime. Alright. 
bar to kick this door open and see where we can go. Got nothing over here. Nothing anywhere, huh? Maybe up here. Thunder Drum. Raging at Izanagi's betrayal, Izanami birthed the Thunder Spirit Rai Raijin from her very flesh and sent her new child to pursue her fleeing husband. With the sound of drums, thus, yeah, with the sound of drums, thus Raijin herald his deadly arrival. So does that Yomi is home to fury as well as loss. Gotta be brave, bro. Gotta be brave. So, I'll keep to my shirt, okay? Even though there are, these are probably arrows, eh? Yep. Alright, let's see through, what's through door number one. <laughs> Low-key, though. Yomi will decide that. Look at all these mushroom things. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Is this the portal home? Nope. <laughs> Is that the portal home? That big ominous portal over there? There can be no shortcut. Let's 
死に食われた木のごとくこの地は崩れゆく Yes sir New collectible Oh my god this is hard mode Okay okay That's a long Japanese word that I will attempt to butcher Ukamudu Mi no Mikoto Oh that wasn't that bad As Izanagi fled from the horrors of Yomi, he threw a comb at a monstrous hag. Shikomi stopped her pursuit in order to eat bamboo shoots made from his comb. Raijins and their, Raijins and their army joined the chase. When they didn't st stop after being brain, what, brandished Osuno Tsurugi, he threw the peaches at the large crowd chasing him, then escaped. So in other words, what you're telling me is that Izanagi just used food to stop his pursuers in hopeful in hopeful fashion that uh they'll eat them. Stop and eat them. That's that's some Scooby Doo type stuff, bro. Here, take this sandwich. Hopefully it distracts the dogs. Or Brett Bur yet, you know what, my favorite in The Simpsons when Homer's being chased by dogs. He has a whole thing of sausages saying, Hey, I have an idea. Then he eats the sausages. Then he runs faster. <laughs> That was a nice twist and was quite hilarious. And I can't be mad at that. Oh. Yeah, Yomi's uh, going crazy, bro. You sure we can't take a shortcut, guys? Because it's as if the whole land is in the middle of a storm right now. Oh, shoot. Come on, we got this. We can do it. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, do you. Collectible Totsuka no Tsurugi. With this sacred Totsuka blade, Izanagi bravely stood against the foul Shikomi who pursued him through the land of the darkness. Doubtless through this merely the lost sword of another dead man, forever lost to Yomi's corruption. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. 
Yeah, I definitely want to see what's at the end of this turn. I mean, I can not like this. Oh, shit. clothing. Shaken by his terrible experience in Yomi, Izanagi sought to cleanse himself of his corruption by bathing in Lake Misogi. Amaterasu, the sun, was born as he washed his left eye. Tsukiyomi, the moon, came from his right eye. From his mouth, Shinasuhiko, the wind. From his nose emerged Susano, the storm. And from his discarded clothes have come twelve more great kami. Thus began the age of the heavenly rulers. Oh, that's how cool. like some gods just by them just existing in great times, like by the It's like, oh, I got like a piece of meat in my tooth. Clicked it out, oh, suddenly that's a god. Oh, you know, I breathed really hard one day. Oh, oh yeah, I created Fujin, guys, there we go. You know what, I coughed. Something was in my throat and I coughed, and that created a god, like... This is what thought you got that same thing. <laughs> Dude, I tired of Yomi's illusions too, bro. Loon collectible. Yamotsu Hirasaki. This is an image of Yamotsu Hirasaki, the gateway in our world to, to Yomi. Ooh, okay. Once he had escaped from the land of darkness, Izanagi sealed the entrance with a boulder. Behind it, his dead love, Izanami, raged and swore to drag a thousand souls to Yomi each day. Izanagi swore to birth 1,500 souls a day to overcome this. Thus, Izanami's vengeful fury began the cycle of life and death, the great will which I myself now turn upon. Do I approach the end or the beginning? And yeah, that's what I was trying to explain earlier in this playthrough, is that that's like the main thing I know about Izanagi and Izanami, is that A, Izanagi escaped hell, or at least Yomi in this case. And yeah, that's pretty much the pact that Izanagi and Izanami have. Is that like, you know, Izanami will drag a thousand souls to Yomi. Izanagi will create at least 1,500 souls a day. So, I got the exact number of my thoughts. It was somewhere on It's kind of cool how, like, I did like, that. Oh, yeah. Which means there's a lot of other details in the screen, like how this is with other people. Like I didn't know I'm a Tarasa Suki Yomi or born like that. One from the left and the other from the right. It makes sense considering what the other guys are. I'm a Tarasa Blinding light. Let's see if there's anything around. Yep, the last collectible. Onusa. To this day, we purify ourselves as Izanagi himself did after wading through the filth of Yomi to cleanse ourselves of pollution and sin. When, when there is not running water, the Nusa wine can be used to cast out corruption. This is a welcome sight. 
Yet I know all the new sin in the land could not cleanse me now. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Did all that happen in puffing for this, huh? Well, might as well go ahead and see what's behind door number one. But before we go ahead and see what's behind door number one, that can wait till next part. But for now, right now, we have to end our episode. Check out the next episode to see what happens on our trek to Yomi, or through Yomi in this case. It's me here, Professor Zach. Hit us up, check us out the Night Shift Bandits on everything. And you know what? Oh, it's under the description below. You guys have a great night. I'm clocking out so you can clock in. Peace.